The wisdom of Kabbalah is wisdom that we discover as we work on it, as we research the higher nature, the upper nature. And in this study, there are no things that you can call absolute um, final truth. There are always uh, doubts or abilities to be mistaken because a Kabbalist is a researcher of the upper world's states that open before him just like a researcher in this world. For a researcher in this world there's a problem because he doesn't have aid from above. He doesn't have he doesn't receive a true revelation from above, which is like uh, like a testimony of the Creator that is not wrong. And that's why they they go wrong. You see that uh, they think about one thing, then they theorize another thing, and then another thing, and another thing. And why is, is this happening? It's because our scientists don't know the foundations. It's like, here's a liquid, right? So you can research what particles are there, how does it react to heat, to cold, to pressure, and you're limited in this world, in the outcomes, in the tools of research, mostly in understanding where it comes from, what is the foundation of the matter. In the wisdom of Kabbalah, you research the very foundation, the will to receive. Other than that, you then research how does it change, why, who changes it, who creates it, or renews it each and every moment, sustains it as existence from absence. So then you learn about the actions of the light from within the will to receive. And there is nothing more root level than that. More than that, more es essence, more foundational than that, is only the Creator's, uh, uh, His essence. And this we cannot research, because we can only research from within ourselves. Besides that, we're, we're not learning about any external form. We learn that everything happens in our desires. Outside my sight and perception, there's nothing. And my feeling, all that I sense, is within my desire. So so, even if I say that he exists and they exist and I exist and so on and, and all sorts of things happen, I explain that it happens within my desire. When I look at all of you now, what am I seeing? I'm seeing my desire that is shaped in this and this and that way. You, him, and him, and him, and so on. I see it in a bodily fashion, in, in that way of projection, or in an inner way. And the same with colors and sounds and all, everything. Besides the desire, there's nothing with which you can perceive. And if I feel anything, it's always in the desire. So where do I feel? I feel only within my desire. I have no ability to feel anything outside the desire. So reality is all inside of me. So we're studying the foundations, which are the desire and how reality that exists within the desire changes by what element. So then we begin to learn these things like that. If I'll do this, what will happen? If I'll do this, what will happen? Just like in any natural science like physics or um, chemistry, you try to pressure a matter in this and that way and that gives you this and that results. Just like you use uh, that collider experiment to, to, to bang particles into each other and then 
see the result. That's the only thing we can learn from. Action and reaction. So, when I enter that upper research, I also research everything as a scientist. Um, as a scientist also researches his desire, he's just unaware of it. In Kabbalah you see it more truthfully, you see it from a side, you're able to do it, but still it's a research. It's a research. So I check and examine and see, and I'll tell you between you where nobody hears. We know that the letter of degrees is big, it's 125 degrees, but it can be divided to more and more even. And another problem is that every higher degree is opposite to the one below it. You understand what I mean by opposite? So that everything I see now, which I say this is certain, how could it be any other way? When you rise to the other degree, to the upper degree, you say, how could it be? It can't be like that. It's all wrong. Then you rise to an even higher degree, and you say, oh, I was wrong, I was stupid, I was... This, it's like this, and then you rise even higher, and so on. You understand? It's opposite things, meaning it's an endless thing. That's why there are doubts and, and even uh, disagreements or different opinions and so on and one writes in a more from the perspective of the right line the other from the left line because everyone researches in their own desire to the extent their desire is similar to the Creator who includes everything but I'm not there yet I'm ascending towards that so you only are similar to that Creator in a certain aspect, in a certain portion, and from within my own structure of the soul. So I see from one perspective, you see from another. Both are right. Everyone's right. Because one judges according to his own flaws, and one attains according to his vessel. So you can say, well, what's the science here? Where's the wisdom? It's like one mess, one giant mess. Everyone's wrong or everyone's right. And no one can... Everyone says that, that uh, the way they were yesterday is, is, uh, is stupid? That they were fools yesterday? No. Because in all these things, there is what's called truth and what I attain. And we attain these two things, more or less. Again, I'm saying more or less, meaning that I, I also see the things that I cannot research, cannot depict within my vessels, because I still have... Meaning, if I'm in degree number 10, let's say, what do I lack to, to feel everything that I need to feel, 100%? I have my own vessels and I know that I still lack 115 degrees to my final correction. But even on my degree, there are still desires that I have in which I cannot research reality. There are desires which we call evening, where everything is mixed, so you don't something that it's so it's kind of vague. There's complete darkness where you don't see anything, and there's desires that I can't even use, that I can't touch, because if I'll do it, I will definitely. Uh, do it in order to receive, and then my entire degree will vanish. That's why it turns out that we are in a delicate state here. Uh, Kabbalists don't hide it. They actually are proud about it. Parasalam writes, that there is no clear decision and what we think today will be different tomorrow besides the path that, that they already went through and tell us what's happening from the level of the final correction. That's why Zohar, the Ari, Bala Sulam, Abraham, those souls who tell us about the path from the final correction 
that we can rely on. All the rest could be wrong. They could be mistaken. And they could be wrong towards others and towards themselves from day to day. But these are not mistakes in, in the direction. You understand? This is very important. It's not m mistakes in the sense that tomorrow they'll change their whole direction and uh, they'll have another new, whole new teaching. Not in order to re re bestow, but in order to receive. No. The mistakes are simply that what I discovered today, I now see that that it's not everything that I didn't see at all because tomorrow I'll see higher causes and then I'll understand them more I'll see more details imagine this let's I, I had a problem with my liver after the car accident I had and and the, the doctors the professor said oh you have a big problem we can't really uh, uh, promise anything good we can keep cutting chopping more layers of your liver but we don't know exactly why why don't you know what's the problem they said there are influences from the body that we can't know how will they influence each other meaning the professor the expert in liver says there are other systems that relate to the liver but because of them I can't know what's going to happen with your liver now I, I don't know because I'm not in a state where I can see all systems in their entirety and how they all are interconnected and influence each other and therefore tell you precisely what will happen to your liver in this and that state meaning I'm in a certain degree I can't encompass all the things yet and for, maybe if I'll be in a higher degree I'll see differently to me what this means is this is precisely the only way we can advance and it's actually the right indication that I rise and I cancel the previous degree how do, how do I say uh, this thing in Hebrew. It's not exactly derivative. It's like the, the law of... Uh, it's something Marx said, n ne negating the negations, meaning that you cannot build a next degree unless you negate the, the present degree, unless you really rule it out in terms of being the the advancement towards redemption, towards the complete redemption. That's called the Malchut of the lower degree, the Keto of the upper